Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you a story about how I broke seven bones in one day. Um, this story actually, funnily enough, relates to the last story time I told you where I bought a $5 horse. You can probably tell from that how this all happened, but I'm going to explain it in better detail for you anyway. Um, I've broken 13 bones over my 21 years of life, so this was the most impressive considering it was seven in one go, but... It also was the stupidest thing I've probably done, maybe, I'm not sure. It was one of the stupidest things I've ever done. So what happened was I was living on my own on a farm with Hugo, my horse. And on this farm, our back paddock had a heap of cross-country style jumps set up in it. So they were all like fallen logs and stuff like that. So I love cross-country riding. I love going fast and I love going over jumps. So it was to die for. So I spent most of my weekends out there on that after I got Hugo happily going over jumps because he had never jumped before I got him. So yeah, it was fun and I really loved it, but there were a few jumps I just never attempted because they were sort of like not really on like the circuit that I used to like go around. But this one day I felt like I was doing really good and Hugo had been a dream all day. He didn't bite me while I was putting his tack on. He hadn't bucked or reared all sort of like afternoon. And uh, he was going over all the jumps beautifully. Like his form was just really good, which usually it was a little bit sort of subpar, <laughs> um, as was mine. But uh, we tried our best. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this jump that I had like really wanted to do but was a bit nervous of a go. So the jump was like a tree stump and then a log and then another tree stump. So it was really quite wide because the log was like a really big tree. So um, I just, I finished going over a jump and it was like spur of the moment, split second decision. I was like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. Don't be a pussy. Let's do this. So I... Just go at it full speed. Like, I'm like, let's do this. I've got this, like, Stallion of the Cimarron style. Like, I'm going to jump the canyon. Um, Like, let's go. Let's go, Hugo. So um, we're heading towards this jump, and I'm like, oh, my God, he's actually going to do it. His ears are forward. He hasn't bucked. He hasn't turned away. Let's do this, Hugo. We got this. So we get to the jump. And he lifts his feet like he's about to go. And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm in the jumping position. And that was probably a little bit far forward, like a little bit too eager for it. But I was really excited. So we are in the position and we're ready to go. And I like am leaning forward and he decides last second, you know what? I don't actually feel like this. And he just turned and left. Like, I'm not talking like he, like, like a couple meters away. Like, I'm talking, he was like on the jump essentially. And he was like, no, I don't feel like this. Not anymore. I don't really want to do this. So he had like his front, like the front half of his body was up. Like he was sort of like rearing up position. And then he just kind of pivots and he's like, see you later. And piss bolts off to the other end of the paddock. I, on the other hand, because I was so eager and like all the way forward in my little jumping position sort of a thing, just went straight over his shoulders because I wasn't expecting him to do this. Don't know why. Don't know why I wasn't expecting him to be a douchebag because he was a bit of a D-bag. So went straight over his shoulder and I hit my jaw on the stump and I hit my body on the log that like laid in between the two stumps. So hit it pretty hard considering we were going like full, full speed. So... Uh, he like bugged off up to the other end of the paddock and I eventually peeled myself off this jump and I was so winded. My whole body was kind of like rattled and sore. So I eventually peel myself up and I walk up to the back of the paddock and I grab a hold of him and he's like, what have you been doing? Where have you been? Hello, I've missed you. And I'm like, honestly, fam. So I uh, finally get back and I've had to walk from where I caught him. I've had to walk through the jumps paddock. I've had to walk through one other paddock and then through one more paddock. So that's three paddocks I've had to walk through to get back to the stable sort of area so I can untack him and then groom him and then put his rug on. Now, this doesn't sound that hard to do those three jobs. But 
take into account that my whole body feels like it's hurting. Uh, my like lungs feel like they just don't work. I can barely breathe. And every time I go on the left side of this horse, he kicks. I don't know why. That's just something he did when I got him. Uh, so yeah, I did, I did all those jobs and I fed him and put him back in his paddock and gave him a little pat and was like, good job. You did well today, mate. You did real good. So then I was like, okay, I've got to sort myself out because I feel like I'm actually dying. So I've got blood in my mouth. I, my whole body's hurting. My whole body's like all scratched up and I'm like, I'm just going to call, um, the hospital. So I call the hospital and I'm like, Hey, camp it out hospital. Uh, could you maybe like give me some advice of what I should do in this situation? I've had a bad fall. And they're like, um, we can't see you because our x-ray person has gone home. So you'll have to find a different hospital. Maybe try Warnable. So I'm like, I feel like I'm dying at this stage and Warnable Hospital is 45 minutes away. Because I'm an idiot, I didn't take into account the fact that I probably was in enough pain and injured badly enough that I could have got an ambulance. But I was like, Jesus, I have to drive to Warnable Hospital 45 minutes away. So I get in my car and I drive to the hospital. I think this was one of the dumbest things I've done because I probably had a concussion at the time. I could barely breathe. My mouth had blood all in it. Uh, I was completely covered in blood and I feel like I was probably pretty drowsy at the time. So it was about 8 p.m. at this time. It's dark and like it's getting into winter in Victoria. So it's very dark, like at like five o'clock. So <laughs> I'm driving to Waterville Hospital, 45 minute drive. I turn up there and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. And I park in the 15 minute parking, optimistically thinking I might get out in 15 minutes. <laughs> so I walk in there and I'm like, oh, hey, you know what? I feel like I need some assistance here. Can you help me out with this? I'm not feeling too well. And they look at me and like, you, there's no bones poking out, but they're like, just come with us and I don't have to like sit and talk to them about stuff they just kind of like lay me down on a bed and are like okay give us all your details and then a doctor comes and sees me and he's like all right where does it hurt um and I'm like essentially everywhere like <laughs> to be honest everywhere and at this stage I had finished crying because I, it had been a while since the fall I fell probably like while it was still light out so probably like three o'clock or four o'clock it just took so long to get everything done because I was so sore so I I was like fairly calm at this stage and I was like yeah everywhere hurts man I, I need a lot of help so he was like okay we'll just x-ray everything because I was like I can't pinpoint specific spots where it, it could be broken because it all feels like all of them are broken all of the bones I have so he was like okay no worries let's just x-ray you everything and then I'm like okay no <laughs> no worries that sounds great I love it love the radiation so um I go in <laughs> get all the x-rays and then after like ages of waiting which I'm not complaining about doctor's busy he comes back and he's like hey um you are so lucky that you got out of it this easily you only have you only only have uh seven no six broken ribs and a fractured jaw well like six some were broken, some were just fractured ribs and a broken jaw. So, lucky. I was lucky to get out of it that easily. Which is actually, like, true. I am very lucky. But at the time, I was like, if at least if it was a broken arm, they can put it in a cast or a broken leg. If it's broken, like, fractured ribs and broken ribs and, like, a jaw, they can't really do anything that much for you apart from painkillers, which, like... <laughs> This is not really the same. So I was like, uh, okay, thanks, man. So then drove myself home because I was like, I don't want to leave my damn car in Warnable. That's stupid as hell. So I drove myself home. By this stage, it's like one in the morning or some bullshit. And then I have no time off work because I'm like, I can't afford that, <laughs> which I probably would have had sick leave. But I, because I had like cysts on my ovaries all the time, I was like, I can't afford to take sick leave off for broken ribs. That's stupid. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's the story of me being a really big idiot and really paying the price for it. Um, so moral of the story, wear a helmet um, and uh, don't buy a horse for $5 and expect him to be like super amazing jumping horse that doesn't have an attitude. <laughs> and also just let your horse suss out every jump before um, 
like you take him over it if you've got a horse like mine. I know some people don't do that, but I always like to, especially now, <laughs> evidently. Um, but yeah, so that's my story. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it or got a giggle out of me being a real idiot. Um, so yeah, I have a few more story times in the works that are probably a little bit more exciting. And I also have some uh, kind of like puppy update videos, obviously, that go along with the pups that we've got. And I've also got some kind of stupidy, sarcastic ones like the worst kind of people in the work. So subscribe if you want more of that jazz. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any other cool ideas you want to see. Oh, and another cool thing, I actually have a big order from AliExpress that I'm working on because I would like to do some dog hauls from there and see if their dog products are any good as well as makeup because I love that stuff. So, yeah, going to do some of that stuff. Um, and I hope you're all having a good day or night wherever you are.